Yati. As we all know, I welcome you all before I start. So I welcome all the participants from states, UTs, districts. A very good afternoon to all of you. As we all know, that diets are in charge of multiple initiatives. They are an important body that design and plan initiatives for multiple stakeholders for improving education. And we would also like to share that in order to strengthen this movement, it was recommended or suggested by NCRT to empower the diets further to run various programs effectively and independently and under the guidance of state. Also, leveraging the available infrastructure such as Diksha and also leveraging the existing ecosystem such as partners, NGOs, etc. To this effect, NCRT has requested states in the first week of September and also share the standard operating procedure that is a process to get diets onboarded on Diksha. We'll also share the link once again here. And of course, right now we have with us Professor Behra, who is Joint Director CIT NCRT, and also Professor Indu, who is a National Coordinator for Diksha. I would also like to highlight that we are also joined by NCRT and PMU team members here and many more valuable esteemed partners in this call. With this, I would request Professor Behra to enlighten us all here with his guidance. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much, Arvind ji. Uh, very good afternoon. Namaskar to all of you. Take a second, just check. Uh, my dear colleague, Professor Indu Kumar uh, from CIET and uh, uh, dear Sri Arvind Gupta ji, who is the team lead of the Diksha PMU, NDR Diksha PMU at CIET and CERT and uh, all other colleagues from the Diksha PMU who are sitting with us uh, in the Vidya Samiksha Kendra at NCERT and uh, distinguished principals from all the diets across the country, nearly I could see 346 people are here in the um, uh, Zoom uh, group, uh, this call. And uh, there are 50 plus people who are uh, there also uh, online on YouTube channel. So there may be some more people who will be joining because this group can accommodate more than 500 people and the remaining could uh, join in the YouTube channel. So if any of your friend could not join, uh, on the Zoom uh, group. So please tell them to join NCRT Events YouTube channel. NCRT Events, I repeat. So <laughs> on behalf of NCRT, on my personal behalf, I welcome all the diet principals, faculty members from diet and also the diet uh, principals and faculty members because there are block institute of education and training across the country also in many states. So thanks for joining and thanks to all our NCRT colleagues other than us uh, who have also joined. And as Arvindji has already mentioned that we have two, three agendas today. So we'll be discussing that how District Institute of Education and Training and uh, BIETS, BIET, uh, as a teacher training organizations can uh, start the parallel uh, online training depending on the local needs. Because all of us, we know the diversity in our country. So we have uh, um, nearly 1,700 languages in the country and 15 uh, lakh schools, 65 lakh teachers, even 26 crore students. So to reach out to them, to help them and to impart a, a quality education for all, so we need to work together and the technology needs to be used. And uh, we have uh, six, seven major platforms under Prime Minister's e-Vidya program. We call it PME Vidya, under which Diksha, um, even e-Part Sala, Swayam, even content for uh, children with special needs, even broadcast and telecast as solutions and uh, having coherent access uh, online and on air. So those initiatives have been taken up at the national level. 
we must have all that faculty should understand and know uh, at least get informed that what are the national level initiatives in digital education and then how we can use diksha which is one nation one platform and nearly 35 states union territories and uh, nearly 3 4 autonomous bodies at the national level they are have on boarded and uh, the details of the presentation will be taken up by our team uh, and uh, i request arvind ji to please go ahead professor indu kumar will take up the presentation Uh, uh, with all of you to start with, uh, I would like to share the presentation. Yeah. Can we? Somebody uh, else share it. Dona is presenting. Okay. I see the presentation. Yeah. Achha, wait. Ah, this is the uh, slide. I think you could see the slide. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Screen. Can you see? Yes. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Yes, and, clear. Uh, uh, mainly, uh, I'm going to present you the digital initiatives uh, in the country. If I take you through the next slide, I have already mentioned that India is so diverse uh, because uh, we have large number of teachers, large number of people in the scenario. So having uh, quality, uh, equitable quality education and lifelong learning is have been a challenge and the nep 2020 has been highlighted yeah, and uh, uh, also skill training of our youth and uh, capabilities also, i request if you can mute your mics uh, if you are not speaking uh, so whenever you uh, want to speak you can raise your virtual hand and this is the scenario we need to bridge the digital divide and also uh, impart quality education so this is the scenario in india i'll take you through the next slide uh, uh, this is the historical uh, background uh, of policy directions which we have in digital education like we started with educational technology scheme in the country and now we are in um, uh, after implementation of uh, nep 2020 in 2020 2020 so national educational technology forum has taken a front seat and under that we have national uh, educational architecture already developed the document pragyanta guidelines have been developed and pme vidya has come so these are the latest thing happening and the mm. ncf national curriculum framework uh, has been uh, development have been started uh, 2022 we have national curriculum framework for foundational stage we had a separate presentation with all of you so if i take you through the next slide uh, it is, uh, the policy direction you can see the playing role standards and integration of technology for teaching learning and assessment uh, it also talks about continuous capacity building of teachers having basic digital infrastructure in place and also uh, have telecast and broadcast as resilient and coherent services and having e governance also and content pedagogy technology integration is also key while talking about the ict integration continuous capacity building of teachers the policy has already mentioned that 50 hours mandatory training per annum for all teachers and uh, diet uh, principals school headmasters principals everyone need to undergo assessment and evaluation and the board examination uh, is also a key how technology can support in doing that also has been mentioned and in this regard uh, having intensive research in this area and having uh, assistive technology use cases for uh, differently able to children and also uh, overcoming the barrier of languages because we have five distinct language families and 1700 plus languages in the country so technology need to over overcome uh, uh, challenges also uh, if i take you to the next slide um, uh, there are a large number of digital contents being developed at cit and crt level we are developing uh, each book as energized textbooks assessment questions also we are having audios videos e courses guidelines for uh, uh, different purposes including uh, digital education guideline uh, pragyanta 
and a guideline for uh, development of e contents for children with special needs and even videos uh, even indian sign language videos interactive and immersive contents augmented reality and virtual reality content audios audio books and talking books also and worksheet many such resources we are developing and disseminating these resources through different modalities if i take you through uh, this uh, uh, slide next slide uh these are the six major initiatives we have taken up at the national level and uh, i have already mentioned that the prime minister sri vidya program is an overarching uh, scheme uh, or uh, uh, initiative on the national level under which diksha is one nation one platform and swayam is also for school school education to higher education the platform and e patsala is also one of the platform where ncert books are digitized and provided and e contents are embedded into it and ncert also has rolled out nista now nista 4.0 for ecc is going on which we need to take the care of the stakeholders particularly those who are working at ecc level to work on this and last not least we have ict curriculum for school students and teachers uh, so these uh, digital initiatives are already in place uh, i will uh, now request my colleague professor indu kumar to take you forward uh, this initiative quickly so that we can quickly come to the diksha and uh, the uh, actual agenda how diets can run courses like four diets across the country one in odisha one in madhya pradesh one in maharashtra and one in uh, punjab um, so uh, four states they have uh, already started diets have started online courses in leveraging diksha platform so that part will be done dr indu kumar madam pichle to mai to uss chalenge okay aap tak la ke pehla presentation begin karte hain पोटेंशियल ऑफ टेलीविजन हैज बीन हार्नेस्ड टू फॉर मल्टी मॉडल डिलीवरी ऑफ एजुकेशन so we have already running 24 12 dph tv channels on 247 basis and it is uh, being uh, telecasted and simulcasted on jio tv app uh, private cable operators and you channel also right now 6300 curriculum based uh, video developed for school education in english in languages are there one are live telecast for each class for clarification of doubts is also there because if we watch uh, only the videos but doubt clearance is not there that is also not the done thing so uh, the provision of doubt doubt clearance is also there That's and cool. there is also ivr is support for addressing queries oh, students <clears throat> so uh, this is about rate 3688 pieces of curriculum based radio programs for classes 1 to 12 are there and broadcast on 398 radio stations uh, are also being done uh, it includes 11 gyanwani uh, radio channels then 255 community radio stations and 132 all india radio stations so cit and crt is feeding all these uh, 398 uh, radio stations then 1888 uh, live programs are podcast on i radio also so we are also harnessing internet radio to reach out to the children so here uh, you can see these are uh, the various programs which are there on diksha the various availability on diksha the so there are 5900 plus energized textbooks and it includes textbooks of ncert and also of different states and ut <laughs> lakhs 80000 e contents are housed on diksha 7000 plus e courses 50 million page hits on daily basis so that is the kind of coverage uh, which is uh, being taken care of then uh, diksha supports 32 plus languages including 22 languages which are scheduled in the eighth schedule of indian constitution and it uh, 
uh, also includes diksha also includes uh, e content based on indian sign languages and as per nep 2020 where uh, in uh, five uh, areas uh, have been reflected as utmost uh, importance so which is foundational uh, which are foundational literacy and numeracy adult education vocational education virtual labs and uh, contents for children with special needs so we already have four uh, verticals live on diksha uh, which are for foundational literacy and numeracy adult education vocational education and virtual labs soon we will be have a separate vertical for children with special needs the task is in progress uh, next slide please Uh, so uh, this is the screenshot of one of the virtual labs that we have on diksha so there are around uh, more uh, than 200 virtual labs which currently exist soon uh, we will be having uh, in a gradual manner having more than 800 virtual labs the target is that next <clears throat> so this is the uh, um, uh, vertical for foundational literacy and numeracy you can see the screenshot if you uh, use the url diksha.gov.in uh, you uh, can uh, get and go through this uh, particular uh, page or vertical where all the e contents related to fln and which are aligned to three developmental goals and learning outcomes uh, can be accessed next please next aha uh -huh. this is uh, the vertical uh, for education for all which is for adult education and lifelong learning so from the same url you can access this also next so uh, uh, this is micro improvement uh, the uh, capability of micro improvement projects which is there on diksha mobile app where in all the teachers and teacher educators who are doing small small innovations or uh, any kind of problems if they are facing and what steps they have taken they can document using this uh, particular capability to disseminate and also to monitor the uh, progress on arriving at some solution so right now we are using this ability for uh, celebrating vidya amrit mahotsav where teachers are uh, Uh, submitting their innovations and the theme of vidya amrit mahotsav is uh, innovative pedagogy so we are using micro improvement uh, capability to uh, celebrate the innovations of teachers so next please so uh, can we skip this slide the uh, slide yeah so this is about the uh, physical uh, initiatives or physical uh, aspects that we are taking care of not not only it is about combining physical and uh, digital uh, uh, to uh, making education uh, more engaging and interesting for the children uh it is uh, like the physical textbooks have uh, qr codes and if the qr code is, is scanned through a digital divide so uh, the uh, e contents listed uh, linked to that particular qr code can be accessed so this is about combining physical and digital not only that some of the uh, textbooks of ncrt are also being uh developed uh, are also being integrated with embedded with the uh, uh ar and vr content augmented reality content so wherever there is a requirement of uh, any 3d visualization for understanding the concept so all those concepts uh, the the images related to all those concepts diagrams related to all those concepts have been developed in a way using a software that the 3d image if we scan them through ar app e patshala ar app so we get the 3d experience so like that physical and digital are being uh, combined so next slide please so here you can see the content based on udl based on universal design of learning where there is text there is audio there is a video and uh there um, is a sign language interpretation also so to make them accessible for the diverse children this uh, 
uh, UDL uh, potential is being uh, utilized to make our books more accessible to uh, users. Next, please. So, Diksha is also being leveraged for coherent access. Whatever is being telecasted in those 12 weeks, uh, can be accessed through QR codes also. If there are one TV device in a household and there are two children, so one can only watch the channel which relates to him or her. So another child, if he or she scans the QR of his or her particular class, can get the output in the mobile device. So like that, if we have one smart mobile device and one TV in a household, those two children yeah. can watch uh, videos of their particular class and later, all those videos are also housed on Diksha. They are linked to the chapter-based QR codes and made available on Diksha. So like that, the coherent access is being uh, taken care of. Next, please. So this is about uh, Vidya Samiksha Kendra. This is screenshot uh, of Vidya Samiksha Kendra. Right now, we all are sitting, the CIT team is sitting in Vidya Samiksha Kendra. So it is uh, to ensure uh, uh, taking right decision at the right time for the right uh, problems, which we uh, face regarding any of the tasks which we are uh, delivering or we are uh, taking care of. So it ensures data-driven decision-making. For example, Nishtha programs are there. If we have data uh, which uh, across all these states and UTs, uh, uh, for how many teachers in each state and UTs have been enrolled, how many of them have been, uh, the modules and how many uh, have been certified. So we get to know the gap areas which relates to different states and UTs and accordingly we can handhold support and approach to the uh, states for uh, yeah, expediting uh, the tasks that they are doing in collaboration with us. And it is uh, for uh, also applicable for different states and UTs as per their own need and as per the kind of tasks uh, and initiatives they are uh, taking for enhancing education. Next slide, please. So this is experiential learning center where CIT has demonstrated the uh, newer uh, technologies, so AR, VR technologies is there, our physical books are also there, and virtual labs can also be demonstrated there. Virtual labs can be accessed by all, but where, whenever we have visitors at CIET, to popularize whatever we are doing, we make our visitors visit these experiential learning lab and also VSK, so that they also get an ideas uh, idea about newer technologies and also about uh, how data can be uh, can uh, can can reflect a lot of meaningful uh, the, uh, ideas for decision making next slide please so these are the continuous uh, professional development programs uh, which are uh, disseminated by ciet and crt through uh, nishtha on diksha moocs platform uh, other uh, professional development courses uh, disseminated through Moodle and online capacity building through uh, DTH TV and uh, uh, by doing webinars and through a YouTube channel. Next, please. So uh, this, uh, these are the details of uh, four Nishtha programs that we are uh, we have uh, finished and we are working towards. Next, next, please. So these are other uh, professional development programs on Diksha other than Nishtha uh, initiative. So there is a course on cyber hygiene, environmental hazards of electronic waste, COVID-19 responsive behavior, action research, Urdu language script writing and catch the rain. So uh, our partners are also giving us some of the useful courses like you can see UNICEF have given us two courses which we are running. Next, please. So uh, this is about uh, Swam MOOCs on Swam. So how many beneficiaries and how many courses, how many subjects we are covering and how many cycles we have already run. 
Next, please. So this is about ICT curriculum for students and teachers to build capacity of teachers and students on ICT uses. Next, please. And uh, here is the list of uh, the capacity building programs which we have run through uh, webinars. So 16 online trainings have been done. You can see the list here. And around 1,50,000 beneficiaries have been benefited uh, through these online capacity building programs using uh, DTH technology. Next, please. So this is e Partshala. e Partshala is very popular. I all my time. <laughs> So, uh, the previous. Uh, so this is branding of e Partshala. We have more uh, apps based on uh, this e Partshala. So you can see Nishtha, AR, Parak, then NAS, SSP Mauritius. We have developed an app, e Partshala scanner app and NCF app. And uh, then another one, the latest one is Prashast. Next, please. Next. So uh, here are a, a, a few guidelines that we have developed. Pragyata is for online and digital education. Then guidelines for e-content development, guidelines for e-content development for children with special needs. Next, please. So these are uh, guidelines for cyber safety and security because when we are uh, going digital and we are in cyber spaces, uh, being uh, safe and secure is also very, very important. So these guidelines are uh, there uh, to uh, make our children, teachers and uh, uh, other stakeholders aware of cyber safety and security aspects and certain do's and don'ts of it. Next, please. So these are uh, the international collaborations that uh, we are into. So uh, we are having collaboration with Mauritius, Israel, then uh, Nepal. Apart from this, uh, we are also collaborating with Korean schools and we are into an MOU with Korea uh, on uh, certain aspects to learn from them and certain aspect to make them aware of. And uh, then Bhutan is also one of the uh, uh, one 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 of the country that we are supporting. So we are supporting our neighboring countries, and we are also learning from those who uh, have better practices than us. Next, please. So these are some other initiatives like uh, Sahyog DTS support for tele counseling, which I already mentioned. Manodarpan twenty four seven IVRS support for counseling. Talk to NCRT, ICT award for teachers and educators, e-content development uh, competitions and ICT fair and online quizzes and competitions. So right now we are running uh, uh, this constitution quiz. Uh, you are requested to make your students par participate in constitution quiz. And soon we will be launching Bharsha Sangam quiz as well. So next please. So uh, I think this is the summary. I would like to skip this slide, uh, slide because I have already mentioned this. And recently, uh, CIT has uh, received this UNESCO award for their best practices in educational technology and ICT. So it's an institutional award that has been given to CIT from among, uh, I, I think, 134 countries. So that I wanted to share. So I think this uh, is all about today's presentation on ICT initiatives. So DITE must take a note of these initiatives so that they can also replicate all uh, those in their uh, respective areas. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. <coughs> thank you, ma'am. Thank you. It was... Uh, wonderful explanation fabulous uh, information to all of us uh, we got to know what cit and crt has been doing and has been contributing towards the society and uh, in in the direction of uh, improving the education here so with that i will uh, 
uh, in the interest of time, I will quickly move on to the presentation, next presentation, wherein we will be talking about the district rights empowerment. So, <clears throat> Move on to next slide, please. So move on to next, please. Yeah, so we know district across the nation have diverse contexts and local needs. I mean, these are a uh, few examples here, wherein we know need for build foundational numeracy capability in teachers in Odisha. And similarly, we can see need to remediate students on maths and science. So with this diverse context and local needs, we need to strengthen the districts so that they can work independently in their movement towards improving the education system. And we also need to, if we can move on to next slide. So we also understand that there is a need of the local ecosystem at the district level. Because when we talk about the localization, we talk about too many initiatives happening, then the local ecosystem, if we enable the ecosystem, then it can do, it can multiply the forces towards the direction of improving the entire effort and can bring fabulous results. I mean, we, we see that local content partners, local NGOs, implementation partners, consultant, they are key players wherein we see that there is a need and this entire ecosystem can help district enabling, enabling district to implement their initiatives in a very, very effective way. So move on, please. Now, to strengthen this movement, like I mentioned in the beginning, there was a letter to all the states, UTs on this, a recommendation, suggestion, going from NCRT, two states that NCRT, with this NCRT has opened up the possibilities for demand-driven innovation that let's empower the diets at the district level so that they can start working independently. Oh, I'm just, yeah, I'm uh, I, would request to, I would request the participants to mute who are not speaking, please. So with this suggestion and recommendation, this was gone on September 8th as you can all see on your screen. And NCRT has also shared the standard operating procedure, which talks about the process, which gives the process how to onboard the diets on Deeksha. So next slide, please. Information which we have as of now, this is a status of creation of diet user ID meaning these are the states wherein diets, they have already started creating the user ID, but there could be many more which is happening. And this is the information we have got. So these are the example states, I would say. And I'm sure many more are in the process and doing it. With this, I would like to share success stories from Maharashtra, Orissa, Punjab, and Meghalaya. And I would request Maharashtra representative to uh, come forward. We have Maharashtra, we have uh, from Maharashtra, we have I would call out Maharashtra representative, please. Hello, good afternoon, sir. Uh, welcome, Hello, welcome. Uh, Shri Shugesh Sunavne ji, assistant HOD, ITSCRT, Pune. Uh, welcome. Yes, sir. So if you may please share your success story with all of us here. I welcome you here, sir. Yes. Yes, thank you, thank you, Arvind ji. हमें ये बहुत खुशी हो रही कि सबसे पहले स्टूडेंट के लिए जो माइक्रो लर्निंग पैकेज है वो महाराष्ट्र ने रत्नागिरी डिस्ट्रिक्ट में शुरू किया उसकी जो शुरुआत हुई थी सबसे पहले सितंबर में हमें एनसीईआरटी से जो लेटर मिला था 
उसमें डिटेल गाइडलाइंस थी कि लोकल नीड कैसे हम कोलेबोरेट करें उनके लिए ज्यादा से ज्यादा जो नीड्स डिसाइड करके लर्निंग पैकेज उनके लिए देना जरूरी इसलिए हमने जो नास 2022 के जो रिजल्ट आए उसमें आठवीं कक्षा में गणित के बच्चों में जो लोअर परफॉर्मिंग लर्निंग आउटकम्स के वो डिसाइड किए और उनपे काम करने के लिए हमने जो बच्चे भी आठवीं से नौवीं गए उनका बेस अच्छा करने के लिए वो लर्निंग आउटकम्स हमने सबसे पहले नीड में लिए उसके बाद हमारा जो अप्रोच था कि ये बच्चों को देने के लिए जो इजी तरीका है सबसे पहले वो यानी माइक्रो लर्निंग पैकेज और क्यों ना हम दीक्षा को यूज करें और बच्चों को जो इजी शिक्षा है प्री शिक्षा है और गुणवत्ता वाली शिक्षा है वो दीक्षा के माध्यम से बच्चों के जो लर्निंग आउटकम्स है वो डेवलप के लिए हमने वो माइक्रो लर्निंग अप्रोच यहाँ पे यूज किया इसके लिए हमने जो लर्निंग आउटकम्स थे वो मैथ के लिए हर कंटेंट को आइडेंटिफाई किया और दीक्षा में उस कंटेंट के लिए जो जो ई कंटेंट अवेलेबल है उसको हमने डिटेक्ट किया और वो बच्चों तक तो पहुंचा है इसके लिए सबसे पहले हमने जो हमारे रत्नागिरी डिस्ट्रिक्ट डायट के जो प्रिंसिपल थे ऑनरेबल पाटिल जी हमारे रत्नागिरी के जो ऑनरेबल डिस्ट्रिक्ट मैजिस्ट्रेट थे ऑनरेबल एम डी सिंह जी सीओ फ्रॉम जेपी बोर्ड प्राइमरी एंड सेकेंडरी ईओ इनसे हमने कोलेबोरेट किया और इनकी मदद से हमने जो माइक्रो लर्निंग पैकेज है एक कक्षा आठवीं के बच्चों के लिए इस्तेमाल किया इसके लिए हमने एस सी आर की ओर से डायट की ओर से यू एन की ओर से कुछ इंट्रोडक्टरी वीडियो बनाए डायट फैकल्टी ऑफिसर्स इनके लिए ओरिएंटेशन वर्कशॉप लिए और दीक्षा का उसमें हर कोर्स माइक्रो लर्निंग पैकेज के लिए हमने बैचेस किए और बैकेस्ट बैचेस का बच्चों में इंश्योरिंग आउटरीच करने के लिए ग्रुप बनाए और दीक्षा की मदद से उन्हें हमने शिक्षा दी नेक्स्ट स्लाइड उसके बाद हमने प्री लॉन्च के बाद जो एक्चुअल लॉन्चिंग का जो सिस्टम था हमारा कि एम जो प्रोग्राम है वो जाने के लिए हमें सबसे जरूरी जो था कि हमारे ऑनरेबल डिस्ट्रिक्ट मैजिस्ट्रेट और ऑनरेबल सीओ जो जिला परिषद के थे हमने उनका सपोर्ट लिया उन्होंने खुद ओरिएंटेशन वर्कशॉप में सब टीचर्स को ऑफिसर्स को एनकरेज किया और ज्यादा से ज्यादा ये जो एम है ये बच्चों के साथ जाए और बच्चों के लर्निंग नीड्स इंप्रूव होने के लिए कुछ मदद कर सके इसलिए उन्होंने भी सबको एनकरेज किया इसी से लेकर हमने तो रत्नागिरी का जो एम एल के प्रोग्राम था उसको एक ना, नया नामकरण दिया रत्न संकल्प उसका एक लोगो तैयार किया कि ज्यादा से ज्यादा लोगों में वो आउटरीच हो और उसी की वजह से हमने सब डायरेक्ट फैकल्टी डीओ सीओ और बच्चे टीचर्स इनका एक्चुअल पार्टिसिपेट लिया एम में कोर्स बनाया और सब बच्चों को दिया और ये आप देख रहे हैं कि हमारे महाराष्ट्र से साढ़े छह सौ यानी सिक्स हंड्रेड फिफ्टीन स्टूडेंट्स ने इसमें सहभाग लिया कोर्स कंप्लीट किया और उसका हमने जो प्रमाण पत्र है प्रमाण पत्र भी जनरेट किया कि ज्यादा से ज्यादा टीचर्स को लगे कि दीक्षा में हर कोर्स इजी है दीक्षा में हमारे जो लर्निंग नीड्स है वो फुलफिल हो सकती है और दीक्षा से हमें इजी एक्सेस मिल सकता है तो ये यही लेके हमने हमारे राकेश जी पूरे हमारे दीक्षा टीम हमारे ऑनरेबल डायरेक्टर सर जॉइंट डायरेक्टर सर हमारे डिप्टी डायरेक्टर विकास जी सबने हमें रत्न संकल्प के रूप में हमने ये एम एल पी है ये प्रसारित किया और हमें खुशी है कि भारत में हमने सबसे पहले बच्चों के लिए एम एल पी किया इसलिए हमें ऑनरेबल अमरिंदर जी ऑनरेबल इंदू मैम अरविंद जी इन सबका सहयोग मिला धन्यवाद बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया सर आपने बहुत ही अच्छे तरीके से सबके साथ शेयर किया कि किस किस तरीके से आपने नीड को आइडेंटिफाई किया गैप को ढूंढा कंटेंट को लोकलाइज भी किया और सबकी मदद से जैसा कि हम सब स्क्रीन पे भी देख पा रहे हैं खाली डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल पे ही नहीं एस सी आर टी डी ओ डाइट प्रिंसिपल जेड पी सी ओ प्रिंसिपल्स टीचर्स सबकी मदद से किस तरीके से आपने इतना सोसाइटी के लिए सहयोग किया थैंक यू बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया सर सबके साथ ये शेयर करने के लिए विद दिस आई वुड आई वुड कॉल सर मेरा एक प्रश्न है मैं डाइट राम बाग मुजफ्फरपुर से मैडम uh, मेरी एक छोटी सी रिक्वेस्ट है सबसे हम प्रश्न के लिए लास्ट में टाइम रखेंगे और सबको मौका देंगे अच्छा, तो आप मदद करेंगे 
डायरेक्टर एस सी आर टी भुवनेश्वर से है तो अगर वो अपना प्रेजेंटेशन देंगे प्लीज थैंक यू सर नमस्कार एंड गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन दिस इज लिपिका साहू असिस्टेंट डिरेक्टर एस सी आर टी सो आई वुड लाइक टू प्रेजेंट द स्टोरी ऑफ डाइट होता ऑन माइक्रो लर्निंग पैकेज इन फाउंडेशनल न्यूमरेशी सो आज वी ऑल नो दट इज डाइट आर दी नोडल एजेंसी फॉर एनहांसिंग क्वालिटी एजुकेशन एट द डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल Uh, so diets have been imparted training to the teachers developed materials conduct action research uh, developed also e contents assessment mentoring all this uh, actually diets initiative uh, but as per the national education policy mandate every teacher every head teacher teacher educators they will undergo a 50 hours continuous professional development program through blended mode in a year so uh, with that perspective you know what state of odisha uh, though through nistha uh, uh, through nistha uh, the all the teachers have been trained in foundational literacy and numeracy still one time training is not enough for the teachers as well as for the crcc to have a depth knowledge on the uh, theoretical aspects so also the practical aspects of the foundational literacy and numeracy in that context uh, yes. diet kodha uh, in collaboration with the district samagra sikshya and uh, our uh, state samagra sikshya osepa and ndcrt uh, diet kodha has identified the need for building the capacity of the teachers and crcc uh, on the topic foundational numeracy in particular not in foundational literacy and numeracy only the numeracy concept they have taken up Uh, for that, uh, uh, that is the this micro learning package has been leveraged by uh, Diksha. So a workshop with all the diets have been conducted, uh, uh, getting the letter from the CIT and CRT to create an ID in the Diksha platform, and also the IEC materials because as it is a district specific need uh, to build the capacity of the teachers and foundational numeracy. Uh, so a program was, has been uh, conceived at Diet Kodha with the collaboration with the Samagra Sikshya District, some teachers, CSCs, Diet faculty, and the able leadership of the principal, Dr. Tapas Kumar Nai. Uh, so the major objectives of this uh, program, this the um, FLN is that that to build the capacity of the teachers and CSCs. on foundational numeracy so that they can support uh, at the school level for enhancing the children's learning outcome in numeracy in particular in grade 1 to and 3 and uh, during this process the capacity of the teacher educators will certainly be enhanced while developing the e contents for the numeracy either in the 